The Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded to Denis Mukwege and Nadia Murad for their efforts to end the use of sexual violence as a weapon of war in armed conflict. The Norwegian Nobel Committee has received nominations for 216 individuals and 115 organizations. Only a few dozen of the nominees are known as the committee keeps the list of nominations secret for 50 years, although some candidates are revealed by their nominators. Both have come to represent the struggle against a global scourge which goes well beyond any single conflict, as the ever-expanding number METU movement has shown. Mukwege is a gynecologist treating victims of sexual violence in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Murad is a Yazidi human rights activist and survivor of sexual slavery by Islamic State in Iraq. Both laureates have made a crucial contribution to focusing attention on and combating such war crimes, the committee said in its citation. Mukwege, a gynecologist treating victims of sexual violence in the Democratic Republic of Congo, leads the Pansy Hospital in the eastern city of Bukavu. Opened in 1999, the clinic receives thousands of women each year, many of them requiring surgery from sexual violence. Murad is an advocate for the Yazidi minority in Iraq and for refugee and women's rights in general. She was enslaved and raped by Islamic State fighters in Mosul in 2014. The prize will be presented in Oslo on December 10, the anniversary of the death of Swedish industrialist Alfred Nobel, who founded the awards in his 1895 will. Among those put forward this year were the Syrian civilian aid group The White Helmets, Russia's Novaya Gazeta newspaper, Edward Snowden and the UN High Commissioner for Refugees. Last year's winner was the international campaign to abolish nuclear weapons. The 2018 prize is worth 9 million Swedish kroner, 777,000 pounds. Past winners who came under criticism include former U.S. President Barack Obama, who won in 2009 after less than a year in office. Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un were the bookmakers' favorites for the prize in the run-up to the announcement. Julie Bishop, former Australian foreign minister, said, that is an extraordinary proposition in anyone's language. However, she added, President Trump adopted an unorthodox diplomatic stance. He's continued to promote the personal relationship between the two leaders as the basis for a negotiated peace.